Welcome to Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, it's Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. And I wanted you guys to see some of the wine that I scored this week at Costco. We had some good deals. We had Estancia. Very good. Matt and I liked that a lot. It was a Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, it was like $200. I got a $94 coupon. I got such a deal on it. Very good. We like this one most of all. Um, I didn't get to share Sterling, but I will next week with Matt. That's this one here. It was a 12-pack. Got a very good deal on that. Um, it was all right. It was a little thinner, a little less, uh, you know, how I like my thickness. It was pretty good, though. I would drink it again. The kitty seemed unimpressed. Yeah, she wasn't impressed. She said, you don't share any of that stuff with me. I don't care about it. And then I got a 12-pack of the one we got a really good coupon on. It's called Secret Reserve. Yes. It looks like a mirror. It has to do with a mirror in a room, a secret room that keeps secrets. But you got to break out the magnifying glass. I mean, that is so freaking tiny. But I got a 12-pack of everything. We had a $4 coupon on this. Um, a $94 coupon on this, and this one was, uh, I think, $94 for the whole case. So, you break it down, it's a pretty good deal. Matt and I will enjoy that. It's a lot of wine. And we'll tell you all about it, too. <laughs> all right, everybody, so we're back. Joby and Matt and the cat. I hope you all saw my wine collection earlier that I added, too. Um, I'm going to add to your movies this week. I uh, started out with one called Front Runner. It had Hugh Jackman in it. It was the Gary Hart story. Um, he had that boat called Monkey Business. He evidently had an affair with a woman. He was a, a senator. He was a candidate for running for president. And he just thought that everybody was going to differentiate his uh, behind-the-scenes behavior from what he was doing in the Senate and going to Congress and going to presidency. He just thought everybody was going to pay attention to over here and not look at over here. Uh, that's not what happens. Um, hopefully everybody learned from that movie. <laughs> Some of us didn't. Um, I, I actually sat through A Star is Born. I will do anything for you people. So it had Lady Gaga in it. Um, I can't remember the main guy's name. Do you remember, Matt? Bradley Cooper, okay. I think it is. I think, yeah, it's, I think Bradley it's Bradley Cooper. Cooper. They sang magnificently. Um, the ones that stood out to me was Andrew Dice Clay was her dad. Um, if you didn't recognize him, it's hard to recognize him because he looks really different from his, you know, when he did the cigarette over the side of his face thing and stuff in his, in his concerts. <laughs> Um, it had Sam Elliott in it, and there was Dave Chappelle in it. Uh, the story was good. The love story was good. I enjoyed it. I, I think everybody should watch it. You know, if nothing else, the music was amazing. Amazing. Lady Gaga was over the top. Um, I watched one called A Long Dumb Road. I kind of put that off for two or three weeks because there were other things to watch, and this was kind of in the back of my mind. But I watched it. It was pretty cute. It was all right. These guys, the one guy, his car broke down. He had a little bit of money. He ran into this guy that helped fix his car. And they went on a journey together. Um, good, bad, and indifferent. Um, it, it was okay. You can watch it if you want to. Uh, I, I, I would watch A Star is Born first. <laughs> Um, I watched Robin Hood. That was good. Uh, it had, I don't remember the main character's name. I know Matt doesn't. I'm not even going to ask. Um, but Jamie Foxx was in it. And I really enjoyed Jamie Foxx. But the best part of the whole movie was that the executive producer was Joby Harold. Joby! You know what that's like to see my name on the screen? It's cool as crap, even though I didn't do it. It's still cool to see my name. You don't see it often. Oh, Joby, what you doing, dog? <laughs> <laughs> um, I watched another one called The Black Klansman. Um, it had, oh, who's the guy that was in uh, Star Wars? Was, was that Kylo Ren? Kylo Ren? Oh. Mr. Cauliflower? 
It yeah, yeah, Kylo yeah. Adam Driver. Adam Driver. Adam Driver. Adam yeah, Driver. I believe so, yes. So it was Kylo Cauliflower Wren. Yeah? I believe so. <laughs> Did you say cauliflower to me? You said the word cauliflower. That's right. I didn't. The last time you said that word to me, I ended up getting sent down for six months. It was juvie. I was 13. And you were supposed to be the lookout, now weren't you? Being that I was your kid brother, I let you lead me into trouble with all your crazy cauliflower plans. Um, it, it was good. Spike Lee had to do with this movie. He and, directed it, yeah. And we also said uh, Peel had something to do with I that one. I think he produced it. Jordan Peel. Jordan Peel. Right. Um, it, it was a, a policeman that was lined up to break down the Ku Klux Klan. He hooked up with uh, his fellow officer, which was Kylo Cauliflower Wren. <laughs> and uh, it, the, 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 the black guy was the guy on the phone, and the other guy was, the white guy was the one who would go in and break down the Ku Klux Klan. It was pretty cool. It was kind of interesting how they put it all together. I did enjoy the movie. Um, I had been putting that one off for a while as well, but I saw some previews and, and some people talking about it the other day that inspired me to want to see it. You know how I do with that, you guys. I, something stirs me up and i got to watch it. Um, tonight we watched Overlord. It was a World War II movie with zombies. It was really good. It was really good. You guys ought to watch that one. I'm going to watch that one again because I enjoyed it so much. Um, I don't have any previews for everybody. God. <gasps> huh? Um, the previews were something I had pretty much already watched this week or something really bland that wasn't worth mentioning. I mentioned all the bland ones last week. Remember with those crummy movies that I couldn't watch because there was too much to them? <laughs> Y'all should watch some of these, though. I did like The Star is Born, and I did like The Overlord. Um, otherwise, everything else is just something to watch because you're off that day. <laughs> I showed you the one. Matt showed you the cat earlier. I showed the cat. The cat had no interest in the wine. You did have some Loco Golden always, this time. Always, always Loco. Loco Gold. Loco Gold. Had to wash everything down with that. We didn't have a dozen donuts this week, but... Oh, God, if we did that every week, we'd be like... <laughs> what are you doing now? You're blowing up. I feel funny. I'm not surprised. What's happening? You're blowing up like a balloon. Like... <laughs> roll in like this and go like... But St. Patrick's Day is coming, so Matt might bring us some more. Uh, yeah, probably so. <laughs> he waits in line St. like Patrick's a very patient person. St. Patrick's Day, Easter... <laughs> After Easter, a big, long, dry spell, maybe. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't can't eat donuts, just uh, just drink wine and locos. That's okay. Y'all saw I got oh, plenty of wine. Oh, suffering. So much suffering. <laughs> no. Suffering. Suck a tash. <laughs> Y'all come back next week. Drink some wine with us. Watch some movies with us. And have a good time. Glad you were here. Glad we were here. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> No, this is not an optical illusion. This is my big pants I had on tonight. I got my hat to go with it, my hot chili pepper hat. But the big pants, the big pants kill me. This is not a whole table, y'all. This is me. This is me. <laughs> and this is my pants. Big puffy pants. The hammer don't hurt them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching Jopie, a movie and a bottle of wine. You know how I like my thickness. It was pretty good though. <laughs> <laughs>